what's going on guys so for those of you who have been paying attention or for those who don't know your boy has been involved in some youtube controversy let's call it there's been some back and forth between me and a rapper called crypt recently and if you haven't been paying attention to my youtube we've had a new breed of trolls that has come over now a quick disclaimer before we go any forward guys please do not feed the wildlife that you see they eat saltiness they enjoy it do not engage with them let me handle them because i am the troll master but in all seriousness, I just kind of wanted to lay out the timeline because I've been getting a lot of questions about this. I've been getting a lot of messages. Crypt has come out and spoken on his side of things. So I thought it was only right and only fair that I speak to you all about my side. So the engagement between me and Crypt first started when I came across this channel. Now it was recommended by a friend of mine who runs a channel that is much larger than mine and also much larger than Crypt's. He said, yo, you got to check out some reaction channels. Start off with this guy. So I did. And that was my first introduction into the world of reactions. And I was like, Holy shit, you got someone who's a rapper who is now reacting to hip hop music and pushing other artists. And actually at that time, one of the reactions that Crip did was to another independent artist. So I was like, yo, I'm an independent artist. This guy's got a good platform. Let me reach out. So I'll reach out to him to see if I can get a video reacted to. He comes back to me, says, yeah, sure. It's X price, blah, 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 blah. We work things out and there we go. Now I don't wanna go into too many details on this because I don't want it to get twisted out of proportion and think that i'm coming after crypt on this but you know i did leave some instructions for him with the reaction uh there were some details there that got overlooked that weren't discussed when he actually did the reaction i also didn't realize that i'd be on the same reaction as two other artists which kind of took away from my own reaction and the time spent on it shit like that man but that's business stuff okay at the end of the day he didn't have to give me the platform he didn't have to go and do that but he did but what did actually come about with the reaction was that after i watched it honestly guys i just felt like my bars weren't given justice like i honestly felt like he didn't really discuss me as a rapper he talked about the singing which i wasn't even singing on it i told him that someone else was featured on it but i had written the hook i had written the harmonies and i had mixed it all for him but yet i got mad compliments for the singing in my amazing voice which wasn't even mine so it just it just got me thinking right because it's like wow this guy has this platform and he's doing this with music so i went and started checking out other reactors and i started to see that there was kind of a lane that no one was really doing there was a type of content that people weren't really giving like these were just everyday people reacting to music besides crypt of course since he is a rapper but you know most of these people were just reacting and not really picking apart the bars not diving into the production not diving into the world of the artist's mind and what he's thinking and his concept as he's delivering these things and i thought you know what if I give more detailed analysis, I bet you people will appreciate that because I am an experienced artist. I have been here a while in this game now, and I think people would appreciate what I'm doing. So ironically, thanks for me being a little bit pissed off with Crypt and a little bit upset about the reactions, it kickstarted me doing reactions on this channel. And again, disclaimer. That's not a diss to him. He reacted the way that he wanted to react to it. And that's it. It is what it is, guys. So do not take this shit and take it next level. So fast forward. I've got a song that I'm working on now that I need a feature. I want to feature an artist on. And it's got a fast pace to it. It's got some car imagery and metaphors into it. I'm like, you know what? I need a fast spitter. Do I know a fast spitter? Yes, I do. So I reach out to Crypt. Okay? And I end up sending him the track. We get him on the track. He records his verse. And you know what? He fucking killed his verse. Did everything I asked him to do to give the man credit. You know what? It was it was dope, man. But me, as I'm learning about this process and the features that I've done with other artists, obviously videos are going to do better than just music. They have more replay value. They have more watchability. So I'm like, yo, Crypt, we should make a music video to this. So he jumps on board, gets his stuff filmed before he goes on tour. It's kind of crazy because we're in two different places. We couldn't arrange the film together. So we made it work. Meanwhile, I go off and start to film my own shit. And then I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to world events, but uh, this little thing called the coronavirus kind of hit and just shut shit down completely. So I'm left with like a three, four finished video, but the parts that we still needed to film were crucial to finishing the video. So then I've been sitting on this feature. I've been sitting on this for a while now. And then the YouTube cipher comes around. Now, let me put a disclaimer on this, ladies and gentlemen. The YouTube fucking cipher does not make or break your career. Okay, if you look at all the past artists that have been on it, it's not like they get thousands and thousands of new subscribers from it. It's a nice feature. It's a nice opportunity, but it's only temporary. Okay, it builds more buzz for an artist's brand. It builds more buzz for Crip's brand. It's a great opportunity. But again, it's not like 
the pinnacle of everything, right? I've been featured on bigger channels. I've been featured on Vixen's channel, which has hundreds of thousands of views, which has millions of stream. I've been on Nerd Out's channel, which has half a million views on it. Like, I've had opportunities to be on big platforms and take this from me as an up and coming artist. These things do not make or break you. So those of you saying, oh, he's super salty, that he's not on the cipher. No, no. What I saw was a marketing opportunity. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to, I don't know, fucking hip hop or rap or anything to do with our genre, like Denzel Curry just did it recently with Kenny Beats. You create a little bit of fucking controversy and then you drop what you two have together. So I thought, you know what? Let me get a conversation going about me and Crypt on the internet. So the first thing I did was drop a popping challenge and I started pushing my fans to think about Crypt, to ask Crypt to get me on the cypher. Even though at that time, when I fucking dropped that, I knew that Crypt already had his cypher locked. I was not getting on it. It wasn't fucking happening. But I was still pushing people to it because I wanted people to start mentioning us together and to start thinking in this space. Then a week later, I dropped my What's Poppin' remix. Okay, now I wrote this very carefully in a way so that there were a bunch of fucking doubles on this, right? I tried to really extend my metaphor so that it would make you stop and go, wait, is he dissing him? Is he not dissing him? I don't... I don't understand. I don't connect the dots here. Like some people took it as a diss. Some people didn't take it as a diss. Other people didn't give a shit. It is what it is. It's music. Now this is where the disconnect happens. And this is where the fallout has resulted because of this. See, what I failed to realize as a rapper, okay, is that I come from a different community than probably Crypt. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just being fucking honest. I grew up as a minority, okay? I grew up in PG fucking county. I used to rap for lunch money. I used to get my ass kicked because I was white. But nonetheless, hip hop was all around me, just like gangs were around me, just like drugs were around me. This was my fucking community where I grew up in, guys. Like, I know I'm a skinny white kid. I know you see someone that smiles and that's very nice on this camera, but you don't understand the shit that I've been through and why I relate to rap because rap is what raised me. Rap was my culture and my community. And battle rap, battle rap was an integral part of that, man. Battle rap was everyday life. I was always in battle fucking mode. Do you think I got these fucking scars for no reason at all? So we're used to it, man. I was used to this shit talking as a rapper. In fact, that was one of the ways that you made your name as an MC. Like, you didn't have a problem with the guy that you were going against in front of you, but when it was time to battle him, shit, you talk shit about everything that you saw about him if he was overweight, about his clothes, about the fucking music that he makes, that he's fucking fake. You do whatever you can to beat him because he's your enemy in that moment. And you know what? After that, you guys are having a fucking drink together, because that's how it works. You're on the basketball court, man. You're talking shit to the guy who's defending you. You're talking shit to your friends. I grew up in a talking shit culture. And a lot of you, if you come from an all-black culture, you understand what that's like, okay? There's a lot of banter. There's a lot of back and forth. But it's not meant negatively, okay? And at the same time, from a survival perspective, you have to be tough. You have to be in battle mode because you go after the big dogs. You're not afraid of the big dogs. You never show anyone that you're afraid and you take shots. People are like, oh, yo, why is he swinging a crib? Why is he doing this? Well, you're not afraid of fucking anyone. And it's about competition. It's about back and forth and flashing your skills in an MC. Battle hip hop is one of the cornerstones of hip hop in our genre and MCing and two MCs getting on a mic going back and forth at each other and flexing their skills. It happens. So honestly, guys, I thought I was just taking really really light jabs at crypt i try to pick things that he owns like his weight he's well aware of that you don't need to fucking diss him about it because he knows about it so i thought he'll take that i'll brush it off no problem talked about the content side of things because he's even commented on that in his songs before so I thought he was okay with that because I kind of wanted to make it more about me and less about him, but it obviously went too far in his world and got misconstrued. And see, the thing is, this is where I made a mistake and I hold my hand up because I didn't reach out to him before I released this. I started doing these things and not giving him a heads up. But to be fair, he's also a very busy man, okay? I don't always get a response from him. I mean, he probably gets hundreds of messages a day to deal with. So it's fine. I thought that I could crack on with this and honestly, him being a rapper, he would understand. But what I didn't appreciate was that he's from a different culture and community and upbringing than me. And he didn't see it the same way. And he obviously took it personally. So what did he do next? Now this is what people don't talk about. He made a tweet, right? He didn't contact me. Even though we had a line of communication, he made a tweet 
out in public. And it was kind of like a sneak diss tweet in a way because it's talking about someone being salty, not getting the chance to be on the cipher, and it was obviously directed at me. Now, from this situation, right, I go from the offender to now the one defending myself to now dealing with damage control. So what do I do? I reach out to Crypt. All right, it would have been easy, like... This, this could have easily really stirred into some serious shit and a serious beef. Like, I could have taken this. I could have fucking run with it, man. I could have tweeted back. And I'm sure I could have pissed him off even more because I obviously pushed a nerf. But no. But no. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this for the sake of clout. Like, I was trying to stir up a little bit of shit to really get things going for our feature. I'm not trying to stir a full all-out war. So I reach out to him directly and personally. And I try to clear the air with him. And we have a little bit of back and forth. And then I say to him, I said, look, man, you know, a lot of these things can get lost in text. They can get lost in translation, which is true. It's better to talk to someone in person if you can. So I gave him my number. I said, look, I'm going to apologize to you. I hold my hand up. You're obviously upset. I did not mean to upset you in this way. This is the scheme. This is what I was planning. This is what I've been trying to do. I even offered to react to some of his videos. I even offered to break down the song and to explain it and to make sure that my fans did not go after him in any way, which is exactly what I did. And honestly, honestly, man, in this world, in hip hop, it's about pride, man. I can't tell you how many people do not do that. How many people would just carry it and go on and not feel like they have to apologize? I mean, that's big for me. That's big for me, all right? I'm, I don't really like put my tail between my legs, come to someone and apologize, but I upset him and I didn't want to ruin our working relationship and I could tell I got to him and I struck a nerve. So naturally, I wanted to make it right. And here is where the bigger issue has now happened because it's like, you know what I mean? As a man, it takes a lot, right? to admit you were wrong to someone, to try to come to them to try to fix the situation. It's like holding your hand out to shake their hand after all this, looking them in the eye. And instead of them shaking your hand back and giving it time to settle, I don't hear back from Crypt. And you know what? He ended up just fucking spitting back in my face. Because then the next time that I hear anything about this is a week later when he drops his YouTube cipher. Now listen guys, this is where I'm going to address Crips fans directly because a lot of you have come on here now you've come at me and you're like yo you sneak this crypt that's not right well guess what you're fucking hypocritical because that fucking cypher is a sneak disc verse at your boy right here the difference being is that I said Crypt's name. Crypt actually didn't say my name. He did say knock 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 which knock can be taken as knocks with the opportunity Nice wordplay. But he never actually said me. So, guess what? If a bunch of reactors are reacting to this and don't know who the fuck he's talking about, if a bunch of people are asking questions on who it is, it's most likely a sign that that is a fucking sneak diss. So don't come on here with that logic like, oh, oh, Knox, you're a terrible human being. Like, get off of your high horse, okay? This is fucking rap music. Have you ever seen a fucking battle rap? God damn, some of you people, man, you are in the wrong fucking genre, all right? Just get off YouTube, get off mama's iPad, because it is past your bedtime. But the bottom line is that he knew what he was doing, right? This was his way of responding to me. Now, he could have let me know directly, but no. He's like, I'm gonna go tit for tat with you. And honestly, if we're breaking down the bars and being honest, if you look at my lines and you look at his lines and what he's doing, he definitely swung heavier than I did. Like... I was trying to keep it as light as I could, but he definitely, he fucking swung, man. Like, he raised the challenge to me. And me being honest, guys, again, do not flip this shit because I'm being honest with you all, okay? It pissed me off that he did it on a cypher. One, because it's a cypher, okay? There's gonna be a bunch of other artists on this, a bunch of other people's fans that are not Crips fans. And he knows that. He knows that views are going to be up on this. He knows that he's going to have a new audience. So taking advantage of a new audience and even more people, he comes after me. So now all of a sudden I have these artists coming onto my fucking channel. I have this new audience coming onto my fucking channel. Like, yo, that's fucked up what you did, blah, 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 blah. Like, who were not even involved in this shit in the first place. All right, if you have a problem with me, like if you want to diss me and come at me, that's fine. I've got no problem with that. Like I said, I'm always in battle mode. I'm cool with that. So make a diss track about me. Direct it to me. 
right? Don't put it on a cipher surrounded and hidden behind a bunch of other people. Second, I found it very ironic because it didn't feel like it was in the spirit of the cipher, right? The cipher is about giving other artists a platform. It's smart marketing from Crip because it builds up his brand, it gets him bumped up in the algorithms, people who follow those artists start checking him out and vice versa, but it also is a win-win for the artist because the artists get to eat too. But that spirit of the cipher is about celebrating different artists and letting them go. So I was surprised that instead of doing that and celebrating everyone on that track and making a focus on that, he kind of shifted the focus away from what the cypher is supposed to be about. And this is truth, guys. I mean, you, you want to argue with me about this, but this is the fucking truth, right? He definitely shifted the focus from the cypher and what it is to what is Crip doing? Like, what are these disses? What is this back and forth? Now we have to go check this out. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, I found that shit annoying because I just I just want to be fired at on my own. Like, I want a chance to go back and forth with you to show what I'm fucking capable of doing. Because I know what I can do. So I wrote, I wrote my response. I wrote my response. And actually, today, I went into the studio and I recorded my response. I've been waiting for days for the chance for the studio to open up, to change their stupid ass lockdown rules so I could get in and film my fucking response. So I recorded it, man. I recorded my diss track. It is ready to go. It is locked and it is loaded. Let me tell you, it's fire. But then... But then I get messages and I go and I look on the fucking terrible world that is Twitter. Guess what Twitter has to say? Obviously, I was unhappy about Knox Hill's freestyle. He said some things that really blindsided me, especially considering I did a feature for him a few months ago that's yet to be released. He messaged me and told me they weren't disses, but in his explanation, I was still saying some of the stuff that I was upset about. No, he was still saying stuff I was upset about while trying to explain how it wasn't shots at me. I just couldn't fathom how I wasn't supposed to take offense to what he was saying towards me on that freestyle, and it hit me at the wrong time. Which I said, I've recognized this. Considering I had several people upset that they weren't on the cipher, and I really don't think people understand how stressful it is to make these ciphers, so I opened my verse by basically saying he ruined his chance by being on the cipher by doing this. And then I moved on to the normal cipher style schemes and punchlines I've been writing down over the last few months. Now, I'm not necessarily sure about that last part because I definitely feel like there were later lines, especially the knock, knock, knock lines, coming after me, talking about that he could have buried the beef, like his head was telling him one thing, instead he chose another way, instead he decided to bury it, in the back of a rapper, again, feels like could definitely be coming at me considering the situation that I reached out to him, that he had a chance to squash it, that he could have taken this route, but instead he took the bad route as he's saying in a cypher. I mean, a lot of it does feel directed at me still, but that's fine. Listen, we're not going to fucking argue semantics. Again, this is about me laying it out and being honest about things because that's what I do when I break stuff down. That's what I do when I break down diss tracks. That's what I do when I break down songs. I'm being honest for you guys and laying out the playing field as I see it. But look, this is where it's important, okay? He says, I made the verse out of pettiness, considering the situation and how it didn't make sense to me. Basically was a, well, fuck if you shot at me, you can't come to my picnic. But by no means that I want people going over there, telling him he fucked up, that his career is over, blah, 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 blah. I just wanted to be petty and return what was given to me. But in response, several other people felt like it was about them. And then he goes on to talk about like other artists and whatnot. And he's been in touch with them. He's been on phone calls. And then towards the end, he says... I don't have any legitimate issues or problems with anyone, not even Knox. So there we go. There we fucking go, man. I'm fucking ready. I've built my mind up. I've got my diss tracks ready to go. And then he does like the ultimate mind fuck of a diss in the world. He turns around and admits it was petty. Appreciate that though. I can appreciate that because I was in a similar situation. Now I didn't do it in a public way. I did it in a private way with him. So for him to do a public, he's obviously putting it more into the microscope, but he's also directing it so his fans can see it, which is important. So I appreciate that. I appreciate what it takes to set your pride aside for a second, to admit that you did something petty, to admit why you did it and to lay it out so honestly. I mean, you have to... You have to fucking do that. You have to respect that. As a human being and as a man, Crypt, 100%, I respect that. There was also a moment when somebody tried to mention his mother and bring her into the fucking conversation. I was like, that's just, that's fucked up. Like, even I have boundaries and rules to this shit that we're doing. No need to do that. But it's true though. I mean, the cypher is a great opportunity. It was a great concept by Crypt. I hope that he continues to do them. And I understand if I'm not on the cypher at all. If I'm not on the next cipher or any ciphers after that, okay? That's fine. It's no hard feelings. Again, understand my upbringing and understand, man, like this rap shit is real to me. This is my life, okay? This is where I come from. This is the culture that I have and will always, always continue to embrace as an MC. But 
That being said, shots were still fired at me. I was definitely still challenged. And I've had a lot of comments now from people coming over saying, oh, you couldn't go bar for bar with Crypt. You couldn't keep up with him. You don't know how to diss. So I'm going to ask you guys to comment below and tell me what you think about this situation. Do we let this settle right here? Do I just log this diss track away, sit on it, put it in the library, laugh about it another point in time? Or do we say that in the spirit of hip hop, in the spirit of battle rap, we put out this diss track? But I'll be honest with you guys, after Crypt has now come out and done this, okay? He's extending an olive branch. He's at least making an attempt at contact. Now, I haven't talked to him on the phone yet. I haven't had calls. We haven't had any texts or any messages like that. But he's still reaching out here. So whatever I choose from here, right, it's not coming after him as a human being. Now, that's an important thing to understand. This is entertainment at the end of the day. This is the rap industry. Nothing is coming after him as a person, right? This is about the art. This is about the culture. But you know what? We've worked hard to build this community. I talk to you guys all the time on here. You guys reach out to me with your problems. You tell me how much my music helps you, how much my reactions help you. And I feel like as I've grown, you all have grown with me. So I want to hear from you all. Tell me what you think about this situation, about what we should do. And one other thing, do not dare go on Crip's social media. Do not dare go on Crip's channel and go after him for any of this. I don't want that to get twisted or taken out of proportion. I am not supporting that at all. And also just keep in mind guys that for the next few days and probably few weeks, there's gonna be some new underworld creatures that will be lurking around in the comment section. They'll be looking for weakness, looking for people to take advantage of. So remember, stay strong, don't feed the wildlife. So besides that guys, it'll be back to our regularly scheduled content. We got some dope new reactions coming. We got a surprise release on the way as well. So stay tuned to the channel. Thank you for the support. As always, you know I love you guys. Please stay safe. Stay positive. If you need anything, reach out to me and reach out to this community. I love you. It's the one and only Knoxville. And I'm out.